welcome to today's class. We are going to work on really syncing our body movements with our breath and allowing us to feel some of our postures, our standing postures, nice and wide and stable underneath our feet. So let's start in Tadasana, Mountains Pose, where we have our feet right underneath our hips. Really be tall and strong here. Close your eyes down. As you feel your legs strong, feel the crown of your head reach up towards the ceiling. And let's start to think about our breath flowing in and out. And then we're going to use our flying bird breath. So as we inhale, imagine your arms were like wings and you reach them up overhead, nice and long and strong. And as you exhale, let those hands gently come all the way back down. Again, inhaling, lengthening the spine up, reaching up nice and long. And exhale, let those arms come. One more time, just like that. Inhale, reach those arms up. And exhale all the way down. Now the next time we do this, let's reach those arms all the way up. And as we exhale, take your arms wide and start to hinge forward from the hips all the way down until you come into a really gentle forward fold. You can bend your knees quite a bit here. Let your head hang down. Maybe even sway side to side. Let those legs get a good little stretch there. Now on our next breath, we're going to inhale and come up into our flat back. So think long spine, pull the low belly in. As we exhale, take your fingertips down to the floor to help you be nice and stable. And pick up your right foot and take a really big step back. Reach your foot all the way to the back of the mat and have your toes pointing out. And your feet should be in about alignment with heels or uh, with your heels in line. Stay nice and bent in that front leg. And now reach your right arm forward and come all up into our warrior two. Now if you get here and you feel a little bit wobbly, we want to think about really pressing down with our feet and that back foot push as hard as you can into your pinky toe. Really firm that front leg by squeezing your bum as tight as you can and reach those arms out from front to back. Good, now we're going to use this warrior two like we are feeling as if we were a warrior inside. Even if those legs start to get a little bit tired here. Great job. Let's take one more breath. And now we'll take our back arm and bring it all the way down towards the mat. Pivot onto your ball of your back foot and step your front foot into your downward facing dog. Making sure that you're nice and long in your spine. Lift those hips up nice and high. Good job. Now from here, keeping those hands strong, start to float your right leg up to come into your three limb down dog. And as we breathe out, pull that knee in, look forward and try to step that foot to the top of your mat. Now we're going to do our warrior two on the other side. So spin your left heel down, toes pointing, pointing out and reach the left arm forward and all the way up as we spin ourselves up. So we're thinking about that front knee now. I want it to be right over top of your heel. And then think about lifting or pulling that hip towards the back of the mat. And then really stretch those arms out strong as we reach from front to back in our warrior two. Try not to stick your bum out. Pull it underneath, pull the low belly in. Bend a little bit deeper, no leaning. And now take that back arm Reach it all the way towards the front. Fingertips come down, come onto the ball of your back foot, and then take a really nice big step all the way towards the front. As we inhale, we come into our flat back again, Ardha Uttanasana, and then exhale, fold down into your Uttanasana. Let's reach those arms out wide like our flying bird breath. Inhale, stand all the way up, and exhale, arms come all the way down by our side. Let's try that again. We inhale, sweep those arms up, and exhale, bring them down by our side. Again, inhale all the way up, 
and exhale down. Now this time we'll take that big inhale all the way up, strong leg, and as we exhale, hinge forward and come all the way back down. On this breath, we'll inhale, come up to that flat back, or place your fingers onto the floor. Left leg this time is taking the big step back into our warrior two. So we're wiggling the toes to point the outside. Pull that front hip back, and then windmill those arms back up into our warrior two pose. Draw the belly button in, and stay nice and strong with those arms. See if you can bend a little bit deeper into that front leg. And sometimes we feel like we want to lean forward here. We want to keep those shoulders up over top of the hips. Good. Now let's get that front leg nice and strong. Try to straighten that leg and reach those arms up to the ceiling and look all the way up. Exhale. Bend back into the knee, but don't lean forward. Just use that leg. Two more times. Inhale. Stretch long. Look up and exhale, bend down, reach those arms. One more time, inhale, really big stretch, long. Then exhale, come all the way back down. Now we're taking that back arm, windmill down, pivot onto the ball of the back foot, and a big step into your downward facing dog. Really feel those arms nice and strong, let that head hang down. Now it's the left leg that's going to float up towards the sky. Now take that knee and bend it in, take a look forward, and then step that left foot forward. Spin the right foot down so the heel's coming in, toes are pointing out, right arm circles around big as we come into our warrior two. Now remember, when you get there, if you have to readjust or get yourself into that perfect spot, please do. Strong feet, strong legs, zip up the belly, reach those arms. Now let's strengthen that front leg a little bit more. Push strong into the heel, straighten the leg, and lift those arms up, gaze up. Exhale, bend all the way back down. Two more times, press into the front heel, straighten the leg, lift all the way up, and then exhale, come all the way down. One more time, push into that heel, straighten up, look up, and come all the way back down, reaching those arms from front to back, then take the back arm all the way down to the mat, pivot onto the ball of the foot, and then take a big step towards the top of your mat, dangling down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold down. And this time, let's step our knees or our feet back and come down onto our knees, reach our arms out in front of us, and place our forehead down onto the floor as we come into child's pose. Now we'll take a few breaths here to let our body relax. Now feel free to practice that sequence over again to really help bring in some strength in those legs. And when you're ready to move on, hands underneath the shoulders, come all the way up, sitting in your hero's pose, hands at your heart center, and we say namaste. Thank you so much for joining me.